Once upon a time, there lived a king. In his kingdom, the king worked diligently to bring peace and prosperity to his people. He was a kind, intelligent, and effective leader. What's unique about the king was that he had only one eye and one leg. But despite his physical limitations, it did not stop him from trying his best to serve his people. One day, while walking in the hallway of his palace, he noticed all the portraits of his ancestors that were hanging on the walls. That sparked an idea. He thought into the future. His children and grandchildren would also walk in this hallway. He would like to be remembered just like how his ancestors, for their contributions made to the kingdom. It was no coincidence that his ministers had never suggested this to be done. They were worried about how the picture would turn out, due to the king's physical deformity. The king proceeded with his idea, and invited many competent painters to his palace. He announced his request for a beautiful portrait of him to be drawn. All the painters would be rewarded, depending how great they have done with their portraits. However, many painters were reluctant to come forward to accept the task. Because they thought, how could they make the king's portrait beautiful with one eye and one leg? They were also afraid that they would be punished by the king if their paintings didn't turn out to be beautiful. Slowly, one by one, they made excuses and anxiously declined the king's request. The king was disappointed, but not for long. One young painter stepped forward. And confidently welcomed the opportunity. With a sigh of relief, the king permitted the young painter to start on his portrait. While the young painter was working on the art piece, the other painters were curiously anticipating the final reveal. In their mind, they asked, "How could he come up with a beautiful portrait with the king's physical deformity?" After a long wait, the young painter completed his work. Walked up to the court and unveiled his painting. Everyone was stunned and pleasantly surprised by what they saw. His painting had the king sitting on a horse with one leg on his side. The king, with his one eye closed, was holding on to his bow and arrow, aiming at a target. Although you could still see the scar on his closed eye, the portrait was painted magnificently. It exemplified the charismatic personality of the king. It was also true that the king was known for his archery skill. He was delighted to see his painting, and rewarded the young painter generously. You see, in life, in our lives, when we focus our attention on the strength and beauty of others, we would create a positive energy that ripples through everything we touch. It is easy to point out someone's weakness, but we can make an intentional choice to admire the strength instead. We can, and we should give more compliments than criticisms. It doesn't take much for us to observe and discover the light in someone. So let's make a conscious effort to take the time to let others know that they have beautiful qualities. Perhaps that they are always on time, that they cook well. That they've been helpful at home, that they have beautiful hair, or that they have done an awesome job with their own manicure. If we are willing to open our hearts, then it is very simple to find that light in everyone. I hope you like this story, empowered by Maniology. Together, let's continue to inspire and empower kindness around us and within us. If you believe this story will benefit a friend, I hope you can share it. Have an amazing day.